Oh, bonjour. My name is uh, Mike Wiggins Jr. I'm the tribal chairman of the Bad Root Band of Lake Superior Chippewa. Um, I was asked to say a few words about mining, and there's a lot of things I can talk about mining impacts, um, I, how unique our, the Bad Root watershed is. Um, I think what I'll, I'll say is that there's a, a justice, an injustice taking place with this particular project. and. Uh, when you look at what's taking place um, directly downstream is, in, is an ind indigenous people, uh, my people here in Bad River, um, <clears throat> who stand to be uh, directly impacted by some of the negative environmental impacts of this uh, project and who at the same time have been excluded from a lot of the legislative crafting, uh, who have been excluded from a lot of the meaningful discussions taking place about what this really means for the uh, surrounding lands and waters and ultimately the people. Um, and a people who are going to be directly impacted by some of these environmental impacts who also stand to economically benefit the very least. The negative environmental impacts to our water, to our groundwater, to our air are going to manifest themselves in the Bad River people eating, breathing, and drinking uh, this project for the next 500 to 1,000 years. And there isn't any amount of reclamation that's going to offset that type of uh, scenario. What do we know? We know that we have grade A pristine air. We know that we have uh, grade A trout streams and, and great water quality that run through our reservation. We know that our people are dependent on the land, the water, and the air to live a good life. They call it the Matazewan. And ultimately, um, a life that is close to uh, what our ancestors envisioned for us. And ultimately, a life that we're trying to ensure for future generations of Ojibwe people. When I think about the types of impacts and, and the results they could have for our people. Uh, impacting the wild rice so there's no more ricing, impacting the water level so there's no more walleye or sturgeon fisheries. Um, the ability to hunt fish gather to take care of ourselves is threatened. And quite honestly, when you look at it from an environmental justice uh, standpoint, Bad River people are home. I and mean, we've been home for a thousand years. This is where the food grows on the water. This is where uh, prophecies told us to, to be and ultimately where we made our home there is nowhere else for our people to go and that's a cultural chasm that might be difficult to understand for a lot of people in other pockets of uh, the United States but this is our ancestral homeland and uh, we've done our due diligence to take care of it we've done our due diligence financially we've shouldered uh, the sacrifice that comes with protecting our lands and waters to our own economic uh, uh, struggles. I mean, we, we've chosen to keep pristine miles of riverfront, miles of lakefront, and not develop when we probably could. But those are value systems that manifest themselves um, in, a, in a real and tangible uh, stewardship of our lands and waters. and, and uh, that's something to be proud of. We've done what we needed to do to protect our lands and waters for ourselves. In the meantime, we provide an incredible purification wetland, pristine wetland system, the Kakagan Sloughs, for the greater good of Wisconsin and the surrounding community, the greater good of water in Lake Superior. It saddens me that more people in Wisconsin aren't standing up for what is inherently theirs. Uh, and what I'm talking about there is a great quality of life that is a tri directly attributed to the quality of our land, air, and water. So in Bad River, we're going to do what we can to protect ourselves. And ultimately, we think we're making the right decision in that regard for our future generations, but for future generations of all Wisconsinites, too, who are going to benefit from clean lands, clean water, and ultimately a, a better Lake Superior. As a responsible government, we're, we're looking to ensure that those avenues of, of sustenance are there for future generations. Ultimately, ultimately we hope it doesn't come to town. So, thanks.